Cooking. I'm your hostess, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we're going to be making pork tenderloin with a maple mustard sauce, broccoli potato supreme, cloisonne salad, and white chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. So we're going to start with the cheesecake so we can get that in the oven. I have one and a half cups of ginger snaps that I've crushed in my blender. That's I found that that's the easiest way to do it. And then I'm going to add a fourth cup of melted butter. Blend it with a fork. Okay, and then you put it in the bottom of your springform pan. I would just kind of pat it down with my hand. The, the ginger snap crust gives you kind of a little bit of a holiday festive flavor to the crust instead of something just like vanilla wafers or something like that. I'm going to quick rinse this out because I need it. I've got three eight ounce cream cheese here and to that I'm going to add a cup of sugar and we're going to beat that until it's fluffy. You want to make sure that your cream cheese is um, at least room temperature. To this I'm going to add three whole eggs. teaspoon of vanilla, I'm using pure vanilla extract when you're using ingredients like uh, you know cream cheese and things like that you want to use the best ingredients that you can that you uh, that you have. So adding a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I have five ounces of, of melted white baker's chocolate and If you don't, if you can't find the baker's chocolate in your store, you can use, you can actually use white chocolate, you know, white chips, baking chips. That'll work too. You just measure it out to five ounces. Canned pumpkin. To this, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon.
and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to blend those together. And then add it to the cream cheese mixture. Do the rest of it with my spatula just so that I can make sure I get all the edges. Okay, we're going to pour it in our pan. And then this is going to bake for about an hour at 350. I'm going to pop it in the oven. We're going to take a quick break and clean up. We'll be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium-sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1,000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we're going to work on the, on the pork loin. What I did was, uh, earlier today, is I mix together the rub ingredients and I'm gonna list them for you. If you, if you want a, a better copy, then you'll have to call the girls at Valley for a copy of the recipe or um, go to the Valley website for that. But what this rub consists of is, I'm gonna show it to you. It's, it's got all kinds of, of things in it. It's a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of thyme, three fourths teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of dried basil, a half teaspoon of ground red pepper, half teaspoon of cloves, half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of black pepper, four teaspoon of allspice, and then you lay it on bay leaves. So I'm gonna remove the bay leaves, and then we're going to baste it with olive oil, and we're, we're putting it in the oven at 425, uncovered, And then I'm going to insert a meat thermometer. And you want the, the meat thermometer to reach 160 to 170 degrees.
I'm going to take a quick break and clean up, but uh, just as I was mentioning to you, if you want a copy of any of these recipes, if you don't have internet, give the girls at Valley a call. They'd be happy to help you with a copy. If you do have internet, go to the Valley homepage, www.valleytel.net, and click on the Country Cooking Cow. You'll find all the recipes. We'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna work on the potatoes now. Uh, I have three cups of mashed potatoes. To that, I'm going to add a fourth cup of milk, an egg, two tablespoons of butter, and three ounces of cream cheese. teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt. It's one of those things you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So go ahead and, and mix it up and check the seasoning and see if it's how you like it. Make sure I've got the right concoction here. Okay. Now we're going to fold in half of the onions. We're going to use the other half for topping. That looks like about half. Then we're going to spread it out, up the sides a little bit. Now, I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to bake about 20 to 25 minutes at 350. We'll, I'll go pop it in the oven, in my other oven. I'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. Ask us about the brand new Choice TV package. Call Valley today at 437-2615. We're going to make the salad dressing now. I'm going to start out with a third cup of chopped red onion. Um, it calls for shallots actually and they're hard to find in our area. A good substitute would be a red onion. So to that I'm going to add a fourth cup of ketchup. I need a fourth cup of white wine vinegar. Fourth cup of sugar. Teaspoon of salt. A 
teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to start blending this and then I'm going to add the oil slowly. So, cleaned and to this then uh, as for those of you who are familiar with the cloisonne it's the the jewelry that has all the different colors that kind of blend together so uh, that's why this is called a cloisonne salad because it has so many colors and and it gives you kind of that same effect that the jewelry does uh, it calls for artichoke hearts, and if you don't, if you can't find artichoke hearts in your store, to substitute uh, water chestnuts that are sliced. It calls for four avocados. Now that's a lot of avocados, and my head of lettuce was rather small. So uh, I may not use all of them here, but let's we'll just take a look, see how it goes. We have a can of mandarin oranges that I've drained. And a pound of bacon. Now there again, if that, that seems like a lot. So if here I may not use all of it because my head of lettuce was rather small. So it looks like this. It's got a lot of pretty color and it's a nice salad to make this time of the year when uh, produce is more expensive and it's harder to find some things. So we're gonna set this aside and, uh, and we're gonna take a quick break while I clean up and we'll be right back. Okay, I pulled the potatoes out of the oven. I'm going to add the, the broccoli in the center. about a cup of cheddar cheese here. You can use more or less as you like. I'll sprinkle it over the top of the broccoli. And top it with the, with the rest of the crunchy onions. So 
So it looks like this. Run it back to the oven, be right back. Internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. We're gonna make the uh, the maple mustard base for the pork. I need to add, this is a, a half cup of maple syrup. I'm going to add three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Blend that together with the fork. And, and then I'm going to tell you about the topping. I made it ahead of time. Uh, this is the topping for the cheesecake. It's a half cup of almonds that are chopped, finely chopped. Uh, a teaspoon of sugar and two tablespoons of butter. You mix them together, spread them on a cookie sheet and bake them for 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven, stirring it after the first five minutes. Watch carefully because it, it will burn if you, if you don't keep your eye on it. So uh, anyway, uh, pork's just about ready to come out, I think. Five and, and we want it to be between 160 and 170, so we're about perfect. up some of the potatoes. If you're going to be uh, not eating the whole salad at the same time, you want to serve your dressing on the side. Otherwise, if you've got a big crowd, go ahead and toss the dressing. On the... So there we go. We have our pork tenderloin with our maple mustard sauce, our broccoli potato supreme, our cloisonne salad, and our white chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. Thanks for joining us today on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.